Our final performance is an old favorite on campus, Mission Improbable. This hilarious group of students entertain and interact with their audience through various improvisation games. All right, so in this video, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. Colin's going to be a lucky bachelor trying to find love, like we all are, among one of these three people. They're each going to be given a character, though, and Colin, over the time, is going to have to guess who each one is. So, can we get a character suggestion for Aoife? I don't understand no, that. No, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Snoopy. You'll be Snoopy, Aoife. Yes, you'll be Snoopy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay. But okay, we're on our second contestant. We got a very, we got a very white <laughs> What'd you say? Christian Gray. Christian Gray. Of Fifty Shades of Gray. Ken, you haven't read Fifty Shades of Gray? Ryan, why don't you be Christian Gray? I've also not read. Oh my God. <laughs> They're killing me. They're killing me. All right, any more suggestions for Ken? Thomas. Thomas Edison. George Washington. Okay, I'll be Thomas. All right, he knows who Thomas Edison is. And I, what about, I do. What about for Ryan, our third contestant? Precious. Precious. Yes. Batman. No, Precious. I can be Batman. We've done, never we've seen done that before. Batman. Oh, All right, sure. so oh, just to review, Aoife is. Snoopy. Aoife is Snoopy. <laughs> Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison and Ryan is Batman. Ryan is Batman. All right, let's bring in Colin. Okay, welcome to the dating game where hopefully someone is gonna find love tonight, even though it's not gonna be me. Again, not that I'm bitter. Anyways, why don't we get an introduction? Hi, my name is Jim Bob. I've been single for 39 years. I'm a hopeless romantic seeking a soulmate to spend for the end of my days. I enjoy long walks on my property, my three dogs, and also, Ina Garten. <laughs> lovely, lovely. And let's get introductions from each of our contestants. Hello. Um, I'd just like to say that I really am a fan of small houses, um, little boys. I really enjoy football. Yes, yes, the great American pastime. Little boy. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, an introduction. I'd just like to start off by saying I'm smarter than all of you. Um, I spend my free time helping the free world for no cost to me, but my descendants will be filthy, filthy rich. I'm also quite, quite smart. <laughs> I'd like right. to reiterate that point. Great, great. And you? I'd like to start out by saying I'm probably not the date you need, but I am the date you deserve. Also, I like cocktail hour. All right, do you have the first question for our contestants? I thought of one. What is it? Um, I am very poor. Where would you take me on a very financially minded date? All right, where would you take him? Or her, or whatever, it. Um, so I know this great seasonal restaurant. It's, uh, it's got such a large pumpkin. Um, and so I really like it there, but you know what? A lot of my friends are kind of young, so I wouldn't really want to go somewhere that we all couldn't hang out together, so no bars. Um, yeah, I know I really am a fan of, of cartoons, so maybe the movies. Um, yeah, yeah, or the dog park. I really, really like the dog park. Cool, what about you? Well, 
It doesn't really matter where we go, so long as it's not romantic, because all those candles are getting in the way of my beautiful, beautiful inventions. Um, I just want to bask in my own glory for as long as I can, and basically look into my own face all night. Well, Jim Bob. Can I call you Jim Bob? Please call Jim me. Bob, we would go somewhere inside because there's a storm coming. <laughs> All right, do you have another question? Do you have another question for our, uh, our, uh, our very limber contestants? Were they clapping for me? Yes, they were. Oh, thank you. Thank you, kind sir, I see you. Oh, my second question. Oh. If you were a type of animal that was romantically inclined to someone who was very ugly, what animal would you be? Oh. Hmm, contestant number one, what kind of animal would you be? Um, I'm a lover of dogs. Uh, say that uh, that would be that would be my choice. But uh, humans are also animals. Always had a desire to be a human. But um, I'm gonna go with dog. Dog is what my answer is gonna be on that one. Wow. Okay. You really love yourself, huh? All right. That's number two. Well, as an inventor, I'd probably invent my own animal. I'd be a mix between a kangaroo and a peacock. Two reasons: form and function. Peacocks are beautiful. Everyone knows that. Kangaroos, because of the pouch. <laughs> I would be some kind of animal that couldn't see. Maybe one that could just hear. And hear very well. And Jim Bob, you have a sexy voice. So yeah. And maybe that hangs upside down. All right, Jim Bob, I hope you've gotten some great information. Are you ready to make your decision? That means yes. That means yes, you're going to make a decision. Yes. The totality of this is disheartening. Oh. Bachelor number three, though the dark grasp of your voice and the kindness that seems to emanate from your very soul, Sounds encouraging. I would not like to date the Batman. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> Bachelor number one, Tintin. Wow, that guess was nuts. Peanuts, perhaps. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm just having an episode. Oh, though I may not come out of this with someone who is romantically inclined towards me, I do have a jar of peanuts at home. <laughs> but I would not like to share them with you, Snoopy. Yeah. You smell like small birds and death. Oh. Bachelor. <laughs> uh, bachelor number two, Bill Gates. No. Jim Bob, a lot older. I'm dead. <laughs> He's dead, but he'll light up your world. Not really a different guy who, you know, most people forget about did, but. <laughs> As someone also from the foothills of New Jersey, I would like to say no to you, Thomas Edison. I live by candlelight. This game is 
day in the life, and we're going to need a brave audience volunteer who I'm going to interview, and then uh, we're going to act out their day. So can I get a volunteer? That guy seems pretty eager. You've had an awesome day. I really hope that guy. And you go to AU? Yes. Sassy. <laughs> what year are you, Nate? I'm a junior. And what are you studying? Political science. So uh, what happened when you woke up today? Um, let's see. I... Oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I woke up. Uh, oh, I went for a run this morning when I first thing, I guess. Sporty. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been working out for like a little a while, so, you know. <laughs> it shows. Uh, so what did you do after your run? I showered. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit? What, <laughs> what were the next few things you did? Oh, um, <laughs> I went to campus, uh, went to the library to get some homework done. Wow. <laughs> what about later in the day? Just take us through your wild evening, right before coming up to, before coming to the show. I went back to my apartment and I watched a movie that I had to watch for a class. What movie? It was called Latino. It's for my Latino community in the DC area class. <laughs> it was about a, a, a guy who fought in the Nicaraguan War back in the 80s. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then after that? I worked on my internship applications. <laughs> and then you came here? Yes. Okay, so you got up, you took a run. I had breakfast first, of course. Okay, breakfast, run, shower, library, uh, Nicaraguan film. Where did you apply for internships? Yeah, where'd you, where'd you apply for internships? Um, the, inst the Institute for eHealth Policy. I haven't finished my application yet, though. <laughs> you went to the library. Oh, wait, I already said that. You did your uh, internship applications. And you came here? Is that about it? Yeah, I biked here. You biked here? I biked. Extra, sports, extra but... sporty. Yes. Okay. Oh, someone's waving a bike helmet. Okay. My helmet. All right, thank you so much, yeah. Nate. Can we wake up now? Great. Oh, I feel great. Ah, uh, uh, breakfast. Nutrigrain bars, yes. I'm, I'm working on my physique. Yeah, man. You eat those Nutrigrains. Woo! Yeah, Woo! thank you. Yeah. Man, I wish All I right. could be like you. I'm going to go for a run. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. God. What a body. <laughs> oh, my God. You must work out. Oh, my God. Are you oh. like are you, like, training for the Olympics or something? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know yet. I might. <laughs> All right. Time to go to class. Head to school. On my bike. All right. Let's <laughs> it's a really hip new bike. I really love my bike. All right. I got to get some work done. Internet, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. What's my homework? Oh, Facebook. Um, Hottie, why are you looking at other girls? Oh. Facebook. You haven't been noticing that I've been lusting after you all day? Well, I, I know I have a really hot body. <laughs> yeah, it's like but... my, my pants are off. Hello, hello. This isn't a really good work environment, okay? I'm clearly hard at work on my internship applications right now. So if you could stop distracting me so I can continue looking in the camera at my hot body. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just gonna go be naked in MGC now. <laughs> going home. Oh gosh. Hit my bike. <laughs> this is my favorite time of the day. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, all right, Spanish movies, Honduras, Nicaragua, Central America, play. Apologios. <laughs> Soy versada. Oh, Anasio, Dios mío, Guinos, Guinos. Oh. Civil War, get, get, get. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Hablo, Dios. <laughs> to nada. Oh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Click. Uh, this is too much for me and my hot back. <laughs> well, time to go back to campus. Go see the show. Let's go. Bye bye bye. Nate, can you give me one more chance? I'm sorry. I got an improv show to catch so I can show off to everyone my hot back. <laughs> Antsy. <laughs> well, that's our show for the night. We hope you enjoyed the performances as much as we did. If you are organizing an arts-related show and would like to be featured in a future episode of American Arts, contact us at arts at auatv.com. Thank you.